What's up, y'all? Today, I will be showing you how to hook up the 4A PlayStation 3 headset to your PS3. Execution, execution. Cause I don't know where I'm going, but I'm learning as I'm growing. That's the evolution, evolution, evolution. Hope I don't finish last. I'm still healing from my past. I need some retribution, retribution, retribution. Did a lot of getting even, but I'm sick and tired of beefing. What's the resolution, resolution, resolution? I'm talking evolution, evolution. I know y'all probably like PS3 2021. Yes, PS3 2021. Because let me tell y'all something. I don't get rid of none of my shit that I have. Okay? I keep that shit until it don't work no more. So if you are still somebody that has a PS3 and don't know how to hook up your controller, have no fear. WMT is here. Um, I'm like that with everything. A game system, a cell phone. I won't stop using that bitch until it won't text or call no more. Who's about to get a new phone every year just to be a little bit, a little tiny bit better? Just to pay another thousand dollars? Hell no. Who's about to fucking go out their way and get the best call? I don't give a fuck. As long as that bitch go from A to B, it probably can have a pill paint job, all that shit. Fucking as soon as you start it up, I don't care. I'm riding it. I'm not one of them people. So anyway, let me get into how to set up this headset. I got the EK3000 Stereo Gamer headset. And let's just get right into it. What's up, y'all? So I'm about to show y'all how to hook up. A headset to your PlayStation 3. Yes, I said PlayStation 3, you know. But, <laughs> some people still got it. Like I explained earlier. But, this is what I got. I got the EK3000 Stereo Gamer headset. You know, for specifically PS3. And, um, I already took it out the box. I didn't really think to do it until after I th uh, took it out the box. But, what do I look like? folding this shit back up and then trying to make it seem like I just, you know, looked at this headset for the first time and shit and fake that shit, no point. But, yes, I just took it out of the box for my PS3. Um, this is what the headset looked like. You know, I actually had a headset, but, you know, I couldn't find it, so here we are with another one. But, I'm hooking it up to my PS3 and I just want y'all to to be able to know how to do that because you know i still know there's probably people that still out here has ps3 want some headsets don't know where to get it bam ek3000 uh, stereo gamer headset and i'm about to let y'all know how it is too um so so uh here we go so if you want to know how to do this so you go to your settings, right? You go to your settings. And um go to your settings, right? And you go down. You go all the way down to sound settings, right? And then once you do that, you hit audio input. Um and you click audio input connector start. Oh yeah, and that's why I didn't show you. So it actually had a, a USB piece just for this, you know, that came with it. Let me fix it. Sorry. Had a USB piece that came with it, you know, this right here, and you hook it up to your your PlayStation down there. Yeah, but you saw there. <laughs> it's there for my dog, but anyway. And then you take this piece, these pieces, what actually came with the controller. Well, like they all came together, but this is all a part of the actual headset, including these pieces right here. And then there's another piece right here that is hooked up to, as you can see, that you plug into there. But anyway, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that I didn't show you guys until I just seen this picture over here. So you got the audio input connector, SCART. So you're going to click that, then you're going to click um, X to save the settings. Then you're going to save it, but you're not finished yet. So then you're going to go back up, and then you're going to go to, I think it's accessory settings, right? And then you're going to go to audio device settings. And then it's going to have your headset right there, USB headset. So then you're going to put it on. It's so my bad, y'all. So you're going to click audio device settings. And you're going to click right here. 
you're just gonna check and make sure my, on my screen it kind of looks lit up now because um I guess the light makes it look better but you're gonna click on this if it doesn't have the headset up there like how I'm talking right now I have the headset on me and you see how up top there it's not like moving any bars but it's okay you can just click on this right here click X on it and then it should be able you see the arrows letting you go up and down you should be able to click up or down but you see how it says USB PNP sound device so you're gonna click OK to that and you see how it has actual value marks on it now. The colors were where it, hold on, let me fix it for you. So you see how it's got like the sound on it now, letting you know that it's um working. So again, what you'll do, and then you're gonna go down to okay. So I'm gonna run it back for you again. So you're just gonna go to settings, go all the way down to sound settings. Then you're going to go to audio output settings. Then you're going to click the audio output indicator starts, right? Hold on. And then you're just going to hit X again because it says X button. Uh, click the X button to save it. Then you're going to go back out because you're not done yet. That's just part one. Then you're going to go up to accessory settings. And then you're going to click on it. And then you're going to click on. It's going to take you actually here. This is going to be the first thing. But you're going to go all the way down to audio device settings then you're going to click on that and then it's like right now it has it working so you see how the microphone indicator is working that's perfect and then you can adjust you know the mic level that you want um for your headset but again if it says something like say it says do not use because you might have a couple that says that too so if it says do not use we'll switch it right It'll probably say that if it says do not use. So then you're just going to click X and then you're going to switch it over to whichever one is yours. So you're going to hit the USB thing and then as soon as you see the microphone um, indicator up top showing colors, then it's working. So this is, and it's pretty good to me. It's got this around sound. So this is the EK3000 stereo gamer headset, you know. And there you have it for that. So the headset is cool. I I will say I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. This headset right here. Um, the only downfall is that it has like a little staticky thing in the back. But other than that, it's a good headset. Um, so if you still got PS3 and you're looking to get one, the EK3000 is alright for you. It's only it's only like thirty some dollars. Um, it's not. You can just get a Bluetooth to actually hook that up, and it'll be. A different way and I can show you all that too but this has said I will rate this um a six out out of seven six out of ten only because well I don't know I would do I'll do an eight though because I'm not picky I'll just take off two because the static in there and that's annoying and then when you got this it's very good you can't hear nothing else but your your gamer when you put it around there but the static is really annoying so I rated the eight Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in and watching this video. I'm going to go play this game, and I'll catch y'all on the next video.